Duncan here, Mad Issues in America. I'm going to talk to you about a few things, one of which is slavery in America, and the next of which I'm going to talk to you about some misconceptions. So first and foremost, let me go down the line. Who's the party of slavery? The Democrats. Who's the party of segregation? The Democrats. Who's the party of Jim Crow laws? The, G the Democrats. Who's the one who opposed desegregation in 1964? The Democrats. Who's the one that sent jobs to Mexico while allowing open borders that brought gangs, drugs, illegal weapons, crimes, and violence into your inner cities? The Democrats. So, what am I saying? Okay, let me continue. Who's the one that passed abortion that kills a quarter of your youth? Democrats. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. They kill you in the abortion clinics. They take your jobs. They send them overseas. They send them to Mexico. They infest your, your inner cities with crime, drugs, illegals, illegal weapons, gangs, sex transporting, okay, human trafficking. These are all things, real things that happen when we deal with illegal immigration. These are all real things that has happened in this country that the Democratic Party has done against the black inner city communities. So let me talk to you for a minute. Let's go down the misconceptions. One, slavery. Do we know how slavery came about in America? Let me educate you for a minute. Slavery comes from the property rights. Property rights were developed and, and adopted from a British Parliament case. The case was a man, a black man, went in front of the British Parliament and fought for the right to own slaves. And he won. This was considered, these people were considered his property. This established the property rights that America adopted when we became a free nation. These property rights were heavily disputed, specifically when it came to slavery, and that's one of the core reasons that led into the Civil War. Now, in, in 18, I, I'm not sure, 18 something, 49 I think, the there was a man named Henry Ellison, another black man, owned one of the largest plantations in this country. He owned more slaves than anybody else in this country. Okay, so slavery in America was established by a black man. Property rights in America was established by a court case from a black man named Anthony Johnson. The largest slave owner at the day at the time was a black man named Henry Ellison. The Democrats were the party of all the slavery, or slavery, segregation, Jim Crow. They were the party that literally created the poverty, the drugs, and the reason why they want you or allow you to go give an abortion. You see, this is just a scam. This is a popul population control that Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, had already planned out with people like Hillary Clinton and the rest of those liberals who would just seem watch your party die, who would just seem watch your people die. Okay? They claim to be for you. They continue to vote, or they continue to run, hoping you vote for them. What they're doing is taking away your youth, your jobs, your wealth, your education, and they're giving you chicken feed. And because you feel that you need the chicken feed to survive, you continuously vote for them. You see, here's another misconception since we're all talking about slavery. Most people don't even know that the Irish slavery was worse. Most people don't know that Ireland had over 300,000 people in it until the British arrived. And when the British literally took anybody capable of fighting men 
or teenage boy and shipped him off to different countries, Ireland was left with less than 6,000 people. It was decimated. These Irish men and young boys were sent off to countries, to nations that British wanted to conquer. They were the soldiers the British needed to go fight wars that these Irish men cared nothing about, one of which was Africa. This is how they ended up to America and many other nations through the slave trade. You see, the, the thing is, is even the kings and the traders saw the difference between a, a, an African warrior who got caught and turned into a slave and an Irish, let's call him soldier, who had no desire to fight, who hadn't really been eaten well, who had, I mean, he was all sucked up, skin and bones, his, he had no desire. The Irish were, were, were half the price, if not even, I mean, they were a quarter of the price maybe. They were treated worse. They were treated, for example, because they were worth killing. An African slave was not worth killing. An African slave was expensive, costed a lot of money. So oftenly, as an example to them, they killed the white slave, the Irish slave, in order to lead and scare the black ones. Because the black men would think, well, if I don't do what they say, what are they going to do to me? Look what they're willing to do to this guy that has the same color as them. You see, the Democratic Party has subverted the black culture from the beginning. They have enslaved you, they have segregated you, and then they subverted you. The question is, when does it stop? When do you guys stop using false narratives, fake history, and stand up and create a better future? We need to stop living in these past, these false histories, where people create this one-sided history without telling the whole truth. And when people ask, how come they can get away with it? Well, you look back at all the different education reforms that were passed in order to hide these little simple facts. This is how they get away with it. That's my thought. Before you think you know, go research, go look, go check it out. Stop the violence, stop the hate. There's no reason for racism. The racism is in your own head. It's created by the same people that want to subvert you into believing it matters. The only thing that really truly matters is the country we live in. The freedoms we all share, love, and should fight for. But if we're too busy fighting each other for petty differences, how could we ever unite and flourish as one great country? In the stupidity... In the violence, in the corruption, in the subversion. Stop with the liberalism. It only hurts America. Thank you. Have a great day. Duncan out.